Last season, I started a vegetable garden with 70 hydroponic towers. The towers were 9 feet tall and the garden was split into two sections. Each section had its own IBC reservoir to utilize different nutrient formulas for different varieties of plants. The first section was six rows wide and consisted of heirloom indeterminate tomatoes and peppers. Each tower grew six tomato plants with two pepper plants on the top container. The reason the towers were so tall was to allow space for long vines of the heirloom tomatoes to grow. The second section was started a month later and was two rows wide. This section consisted of peppers, beans, and basil in the white containers. Three gallon ground containers were used in the second section to grow the bigger plants like squash, zucchini, and cucumbers. In the three gallon ground containers on the last row, I planted all cucumbers so a trellis could be built next to them. The trellis allowed the cucumber space to grow up and they were able to gain more sunlight. Later in the season, around August, the tomatoes started to suffer from blight. The heirloom tomatoes aren't the most disease resistant and the towers could have been spaced a little further apart to prevent the disease from spreading from plant to plant. Next season, I will be growing determinate hybrids that grow compact and are more disease resistant. The towers will probably be spaced about five feet apart. The plants that were left kept producing until mid-September when I had to cut everything down. The land being used was sold, so I had to move the garden a little bit early. To sum up the project, the plants were mostly started in mid-April and grew until mid-September. The total nutrient cost for the garden was $305 with 25,000 gallons of well water used. I set up the 70 towers in a 30 by 35 foot space. The towers were set up for 120 days or four months from start to finish. I harvested $3,885 in hydroponic veggies over the four months.